I'm Ty Pennington, and this season we're all about heroes. And this week, we're joining a community to help honor a hero who gave his life in an attempt to save his own family. And his memory will always shine bright. And the renovation starts right now. Ribbon Page. We're traveling through Voluntown, Connecticut oh, yes. on our way to meet the Girard family. Now, this was once a really solid family of seven, but recent events have really kind of torn them apart, and they truly need our help to kind of put the pieces back together. Take a look at this tape, and you'll see why we're here. When Carol first met Thomas, she knew she found her knight in shining armor. They soon got married and welcomed their first son, Mark. Within the next few years, the Girards became a happy family of seven. My husband taught me how to be very strong. Tom and Mark had a relationship that was close. They are the, the two that were the rock of our family, actually. Tom and his oldest son, Mark, valued the bond between father and son. Together, they learned and practiced chivalry. They went camping, and they paid tribute to medieval customs like sword fighting and archery. The concept of the knights was you know, charity and courtesy, because that just goes with chivalry hand in hand. And it's so important to teach this so that the boys can learn to respond, not just here, but everywhere else they go in the world. Tom and Mark and Carol and the Gerards pretty much give their shirt off their back no matter what. If someone needed help, they went out and helped them. Both mom and dad taught all their kids to give back to the small, tight-knit community of Voluntown. Then, just last year, disaster struck while the family was volunteering at their church fundraiser. 911. Um, there's a fire at Preston City Road, Voluntown, Connecticut. Uh, there's smoke coming out of the full roof of the house. We were at the firehouse doing a fundraiser for the church. Everything was fine. And they says, well, the house down the street, there's smoke coming out of the roof. Well, my husband and I look at each other and say, that's our house. An electrical short and the wiring started to fire in the family's kitchen. In a matter of minutes, the entire house was engulfed in flames. I saw huge flames come out of my brother's window. All I kept thinking was, I am so glad my brother wasn't in his room. We lost 50% of the house to fire. The other 50% of the house is lost to water damage. After the fire, we uh, were living in tents and then pop-up trailers. And then my dad found this rental home. And so we were really excited because we could you know, finally be normal of some sort. We were moving actually on July 1st. On June 30th, my husband came home from work and asked the kids who wanted to go swimming. Tom decided to take Mark, Lucas, and Hannah out to a nearby lake. With his youngest daughter on his shoulders, Tom swam out about 100 feet from the shore. All of a sudden, he started struggling in the water, and Hannah began to scream. Hannah started screaming, bloody murder. So I told Mark to, you know, go see what was going on to see if they're OK. I saw Hannah struggling. I saw Mark's hand pushing Hannah to shore. And then I yelled for help because I didn't see him. Um, I hear my green falls down by where the people swim. There's a little boy screaming. Our 53 primary care has been dispatched. He went under to get his father. And he um, never came up. Firefighters desperately tried to rescue them. But when they did, it was too late. Hannah survived, but both Tom and Mark had drowned. We went to the hospital, and that's when they told us that my dad had passed away. So we went to see my brother, and it was like he wasn't even there. And then the nurse came over and turned the machine off because he wasn't there anymore. And all that went through my mind is, they were our family. What's going to happen to my family? <laughs> Mark went down after his dad, but he would not have come up without him. And I, and I do believe that they were meant to go together. Since the accident, Carol and the kids have had to live with relatives because the family has nothing. My children have lost so much. They lost the house in the fire. They lost two people that mean the world to them, their father and their oldest brother, who they looked up to. I worry about Hannah because she thought she actually 
choked Daddy so he couldn't breathe anymore. We had to tell her no, and I only found that out two weeks after. I do worry about my children. They need a place where they can call home, and they don't have that, and they haven't had that for a year. Man, do they need us? This is going to be a tough week, bro. These guys have been through a lot. And Mark, what a hero kid, man. We can't change what's happened, but we can help these guys kind of move forward. So what do you say? Can we do that? Absolutely. Yeah. Bring it in here, people. Are you with me? Yes. yes. Well, then let's do it. And they keep me going. What's been the hardest thing for you? Um, seeing her go through really hard times and not being able to look to my dad or my brother, but having to look to us. You know, these two, the smaller ones, were there at the time. And um, actually, my husband was carrying Hannah in the water. And uh, she had a difficult time. But Lucas there, he's, um, he has his moments because um, he saw them take him out of the water. I know, he, you miss dad, huh? <laughs> Just want you to know, ma'am, I'm so sorry to, to see what happened to you guys and, and to lose something like that. Um, we can help you this week and kind of start to, to move forward. And it sounds like the way things are right now, you guys could really use that. Um, I think so. <laughs> yeah. 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 So do you guys want to hear what's going to happen? Oh, that would be yeah. awesome. <laughs> you guys are going to Walt Disney World! Yeah. All right, so follow me. Let's take a bus ride. All right, let's go. The family right now is living at a relative's house. So I thought it's really important that we all get on the bus and go see what's left of their life. This family has been through so much. I mean, losing your home and all your possessions is enough, but to lose two family members at the same time, one trying to save the other one, I think the only thing that consoles them is that they know it was an act of love. And to me, about the most amazing act of heroism I've ever heard. All right, well, this is the door that we always used. Oh, wow. And so this is the kitchen? This is the kitchen, and that's oh, actually the, the stove and the fire where it started. This is where it started. Oh, my God. That's what's left of your cabinet. That is, it's just, yeah. It just, it's just like toast. I feel so bad for Carol, man. There's this, this sickening feeling that this used to be your life, and it's been burnt, it's been dampened, and it's been discarded as garbage and you're stuck somewhere between what was and what isn't yet. That's what she deals with every waking moment. You know, Mark was um, a special kid, and we saw him for an hour and a half, which was the most precious hour and a half I've ever had with him. Even to see him the way he was. He was my little baby. To know that he stayed alive for us, so we can say our goodbyes. That means so much to me. I, I can say goodbye to my husband. Whenever there was a moment that you just had a bad day, like you've had for probably the last year and a half, is there something he would say to you that you really miss him saying to you? Don't worry, everything's okay. We have the kids, we have each other, and that's what I miss is him holding me and telling me that. And that's what I miss the most. He just had such a warmth about him. And now he's not there. So I miss that feeling. I'm not going to say it, but I will give you a hug. Oh, thank you. So 
So Jacqueline, this is your room? Yes, this is my room. Wow. So tell me about yourself. What do you love? How do you like to spend your time? I love taking pictures and scrapbooking and stuff because my dad was into it as a kid. And actually, we just discovered it right after his passing. We went downstairs in the basement here, and we found a box with the scrapbooks in it. Oh, that must have been like finding gold, huh? It's made a big difference, and I learned a lot about his childhood. And now the fire, it started in the, the kitchen? kitchen? Yes. And it went up through the floor into your room? Yep. I mean, any, like, hobbies or things that you, like, had? I mean, that was all destroyed? Yep. Uh, I'm into model trains. That's so cool. That's a, that's, I got into it from my father. My father had a train set that he introduced me to, and I can remember setting it up down in my basement. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, Hannah. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Are you happy you're going to be able to move back here? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to do your room. So, I need to know what you like. Is there anything that you want inside Princesses of you? Princesses and snowflakes. Princesses and snowflakes? Really? How come you like snowflakes? Because that's what my dad called me. He did? Mm -hmm. I can't imagine what Hannah must feel. She was on her dad's shoulders when he drowned. And I just can't imagine that kind of pain. And you can see it in her eyes. So I want to make sure that I take care of her this week and give her a room that will help her remember the best memories that she's had with her dad. So this is, uh, this is your room, yeah? Yeah. This is mine, my brother's. What was it like after the fire for you guys? I mean, it was kind of hard to see everything go, but then we realized that it was just things, and we had everybody else, so it was fine. You seem very mature for 11. What do you put that down to? Because I looked up to my older brothers all the time. So. What's it been like with Mark not around anymore? It's been hard. Yeah? I always looked up to him, and I always, you know, shared everything with him, and now we can't do that. What about your dad? Was you close with your dad? Yeah. Um, well, the Friars have a camp out, so that's where we used to go. We shot bow and arrows there, we went fencing there and sword fighting. That sounds like medieval. <laughs> yeah. When you have to sit there and listen to a little kid cry his eyes out because he misses his dad and his big brother, it crushes you. Because you know no matter what you say, or what you do, you can never bring that loss back. But we can hopefully let them start taking baby steps back into normalcy. That's what we can do for the family. Wow. 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 <laughs> Let's get better. All right. Coming up. What do you say, people are ready to do some medieval demo? <laughs> Mark was the one that was a hero that day. And uh, we got something a little special planned on behalf of the fire department. When I saw what they were doing to honor Mark, I am just so proud. <laughs> I really miss him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is a tight-knit community where everybody knows one another. There's uh, Jody, the fire chief. He was the first responder not only to the fire, but he was also one of the first responders to the drowning. So they know firsthand what these guys have been through. And they want this family to be able to move on. To do that, we not only have to get rid of their old house, but we have to build a new one. The great news is, is this town is so excited to start doing that. I'd like you to meet our builder this week, uh, Bruno Hain with Home Designs by Bruno. He's going to help build a house for this family. <laughs> Bruno, you want to say something before we kick this off? Mark, who, uh, who saved his sister and went after his father, words cannot say enough, but I know that's why I'm here. And we want to build something that Tom and Mark would be proud of, and we're going to do an awesome job. I really do. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right now, they really don't know you're all here. Should we let them know what's about to happen? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Hello, Gerard family. Hi, Ty! Guys, I hope you're having a fantastic time of vacation, man. Uh, how you've been able to hold it together, uh, I don't know, but I know your community has been your pillar of strength, and they'd like to say hi. Say hi, everybody! Oh, my goodness. Now, I know your family, Tom, Mark, was all about chivalry, knights, castles. Well, this time, we're going to get medieval on your house. What do you say, people? Are ready to do some medieval demo? <laughs> My dad and me were all into this night's thing. The coolest thing about the demolition was they went in with all their horses and swords and they took down the house with their axes and everything. It, it was like exactly like what they would do in the medieval times. It was really cool. <laughs> So Gerard family, as you can see behind me, your house is finally a thing of the past. And I think we did it in a way that we paid homage to Tom and to Mark. So guys, have a great time on vacation, and we'll see you when you get back. Oh, that was beautiful. That was that great. Oh, yeah, it was. A toast to the Gerard family. some place. The problem is having a little tough time with the concrete drying. It is snowing. It is Connecticut. But what I'm realizing is this family, when the house burned down, were forced to like camp outside. They were dealing with weather just like this. If the family had to deal, we're going to deal. This week, I'm working on Hannah's room. Now, Hannah was called Snowflake by her dad because she was born on the first snowfall of the year. And here we are, first snowfall of the year here in Connecticut, and surrounded by this winter wonderland, well, I think I definitely have the inspiration for Hannah's room. Now this week, I'm taking care of Jacqueline's room. And I want to give her a, a beautiful room that's modern and sophisticated, but she loves scrapbooking. So I'm going to give her all the tools to do that, to do the thing that's most important to her, and that's remember the important things. So this week, I'm working on the lovely Lucas's bedroom. Now, every night needs a round table. So this week, I'm going to build him a round table with an octagon exterior to try and create that illusion. But before I get started, Every other good night needs a good team around him. So, fellas, what's your name? Les. Les, 
Marty. I name you Celeste of Voluntown. I name you Sir Marty of Voluntown, lads. Let's get going. <sighs> okay, so is this the rocks that they were on right there? Yeah, that's where um, Lucas was. And it's about three foot deep till you get to the end of that big rock, and then it's a shelf. It drops down to like 15, 20 feet. So I drove in there, and you know, I'm trying to concentrate, but at the same time, I'm looking at Lucas out there, and I'm like, I know him from somewhere. But when I pulled the father up, that's when I knew. I go to church with him. Oh, wow. Jody, who's the fire chief, wanted to know if I'd like to take a ride and go check out where Mark and Tom drowned. Um, I said, yeah, because I think it's important to understand what this family has gone through. When you get to um, the pond, and you see the rocks, you really can start to see how it happened. And, and, and you, you even feel for the firemen who know this family. Seeing firsthand where it happened um, was pretty heavy. People across the country look at firefighters to be the heroes, but as much of a team effort as this was down here that day, I think everybody in a fire department recognizes that um, Mark was the one that was a hero that day because he gave everything he, he could. He wasn't stopping until he was going to save his dad, and he made the ultimate sacrifice. So uh, at our fireman's meeting, everybody voted on it, and uh, we made him an honorary fireman. So uh, he's one of us, and uh, we got something a little special planned on behalf of the fire department. That kind of act of heroism you don't see every day, especially in the nature of a boy. For Mark to dive down and never let go of his father, it makes you wonder, do you have that kind of love inside you? I don't know of any other thing that can define a hero quite like that. OK, so I'm about 35 feet up in the air right here because I want to show you all something. Now, the family loves medieval things. So architecturally, for our theme, we went with the castle. So we've got a big turret right here, one over there on the other side, and one in the back. Nothing says medieval like a turret. Jody, after showing me where this happened, you know, and, and what the family went through, he mentioned that they'd like to do something special for Mark, and uh, they were planning a fundraiser. So I told the design team, stop what you're doing for a minute, let's go to the firehouse and let the family know that not only is Mark going to be honored, but he's going to be remembered. So hello, Voluntown! <laughs> So what I'd love to do, man, since we're, we're all here together, is to let the family know just how incredible this moment really is. So what do you say? <laughs> Hello, Gerard family. Hi, Ty. As you can see, I'm actually in the firehouse. And uh, I'm hoping you guys are having a fantastic time in Walt Disney World. Without further ado, I want you to know you do have an awesome town. And they'd really like to say hi. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> so here's the thing. 2,500 people live in Voluntown. You want to hear something crazy? Right now, they have raised over $20,000 for you guys. You guys have lost a lot, and this town knows that. And I know there's a couple of guys from this fire department who have gone through a few things with you because they were there. So, uh, Jody, you want to come in for a second? Yeah. At our last fireman's meeting, we, we all got together and we started talking, and there was only one way to honor a true hero. And so we took some lumber out of the house and got it all put together, and they made this beautiful plaque honoring Mark and making him a member of our fire department. <laughs> We could not believe that Bontown did this. And when I saw what they were doing to honor Mark, that he gave his life for another without even thinking, I am just so proud 
And I couldn't ask for anything more than that. I really miss them. <laughs> If you or someone you know is a hero who deserves a home makeover, go to ABC.com to apply to be on the show. So most single parent families have the constant burden of paying those utility bills every month, especially the electric. Well, the Girard family won't have to worry about it anymore because we're supplying them with an 8.1 kilowatt solar power electricity system that will generate enough energy to supply the average family home with 100% of its daily needs. It basically means we're going to save the Girard family a little bit of money and hopefully put a little bit of brightness back into their lives. This week, I'm taking care of Adam's room. Adam told me that one of his hobbies is playing with these trains. This is actually going to be his desk. And in his new house, he'll be able to have a place that he can get his work done and also enjoy doing the hobby that he always loved. Hey, Paige, I'm online right now. I'm ordering all the appliances from Sears.com. I got to do the fridge, microwave, the range. Right. Let's knock the range out first. Give me that dimension right there, please. Sure. My job as the interior designer is to order everything in the house. So I ordered all the appliances this week on Sears.com. Okay, so that stainless steel five burner Pro Series, pretty That's nice. That's cool. Do they make a six burner though? Uh, yeah, oh, nice yeah. We've got this, this side by side comparison. I can do a search by feature, just punch in six burner. Ooh, I like that. Perfect. Yeah. All right, go ahead and get the microwave measured up, and I'll pull up microwaves. Okay. We made it. We made it. I thought you'd use for this moment, bro. Got a ways to go, doesn't he? Tell me about it. Do you hear that? He's coming. And I need some security out here to make sure to keep those guys out of my room. Your visor down. Stay with it. Really? Are you kidding me? Trying to sneak he in? He said we'd room? never get caught. No, oh, oh, that's not true. Right. So right. The witness on stage is over me. I don't want to get in here. Everybody out. 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 Right at the moment. Out. Wow. I'm gonna slide this back. This family's been through so much. I just hope that with this house, they finally find the place and find the peace where they can look to the future. Can't take away the pain that they've been through, but this will allow them to start healing and remember the good times that they've had and hopefully one day have those good times again. Okay, we're good. Joe, do you want to put this thing right here? Sure. I think she's going to be proud. Good. Awesome. got out of the windmill, I saw the whole community, and knowing all those people were able to help fulfill my dad's dream for us was unbelievable. It was a true blessing, and my dad and brother would be so proud of everyone. 
this week it really is about you guys finally being able to move forward. And I know that if Tom and Mark were here, that's exactly what they would say to you. And I know there's no way to replace what's missing. Right. But what's behind this bus was built by this entire town with love. <laughs> and it, <laughs> it is a place where you guys can finally start to heal. So what do you think? Should we move this thing? Yes! Here we go. I saw the bus move. It was like, this can't be happening because this is the greatest thing in the world that can happen to anybody. Every corner that you looked at in the old house, it wasn't a good feeling. We had a lot of great times in there, but it was being covered up by all the charredness, all the smoke. But now this house has given us a way that we can move forward. We finally have a place to heal. This is the castle that Tom wanted. And it is a place that we can call home. So if you guys love the house, you got to give a big hug to Bruno Hain and his whole crew from Home Designs by Bruno. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. You did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. Bruno. <laughs> Here's a family that, if you think about it, has lost more than anybody I know. To me, what makes them special is, is that they're able to hang on to one another. I learned a lot about people this week. All those workers, you know, they put their lives aside to help this family. It was a great feeling to see that. If you believe in something, you can make it happen. You guys want to check out your house? I'm here. <laughs> I would love to. Come on, let's go check out your house. To find out how you can help families like the Gerard family, log on to abettercommunity.com. Take your family and finally come home. <laughs> go check out your house. All right, thank you. Oh my gosh, well, let's go! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Walking through that front door, I didn't know what else to do but to cry because it was so beautiful. After the deaths of my brother and father, there was so much sorrow in that house. And after actually seeing the house, I feel as if my brother and my dad and their presence is just there with us. And knowing that they're knights, and they're gonna protect us in our castle. <laughs> it's better than a fairy tale. Did you see the fireman thing right there? Did I see the fireman thing? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Mark's black. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. On June 30th, Mark Gerard, without regard for his personal well being, Lost his own life while attempting to rescue his father. <laughs> Therefore, we, the members of the Wallentown Fire Department, in recognition of his sacrifice, do hereby elect Mark to run and we remember. <laughs> I think about Mark as a hero because he risked his life for his father, and it's amazing. And having him honored as a firefighter, it does make it easier to know that he's not just a hero to us, but he's a hero to the entire community. And everybody knows him as the Volatown hero. So it's really cool. Guys? Yeah. What do you think of your new house? Hi. <laughs> this is like amazing. <laughs> this is Incredible, awesome. Incredible, right? You know, we thought about Tom and Mark, and, and especially what Tom would really kind of dig. Um, so we, we have some of those themes going throughout, but don't you love these chandeliers? I, I love these chandeliers. <laughs> <laughs>
Check out your brand new kitchen. All stainless steel appliances from Sears. That's the Kimmore Pro Series. That's like high end. It's as good as it gets. Like this is ours? <laughs> wow. I think you can make an awesome breakfast in here. What do you think? Well, actually, this is just a little bit of the house. Would you guys like to see some more house? Yeah. Uh, the Gerard family, go check out the rest of your house. It's for a princess. Look at this. And a snowflake. <gasps> Look at the snowflakes in there. Tom called her snowflake, and I knew that Tom wanted this for her. I can see her going to school now and being happy. And I can see her smiling with her friends and laughing and teasing like she used to. And I have not seen her be anywhere near that for a long time. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, I love the bed. Oh my goodness. This is, this is amazing. When I walked into my room, I saw a round table, like the Knights round table, which was amazing. My dad did have a, a, a love for medieval times. He liked the swords and the, the, the way they fought and everything. I think this house would mean a lot to my dad. It's what we dreamed of. Sick. This is really good. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. This is really nice. I have no clue what to say about my room. This is just wow. I actually looked up, saw little castles, what the train was going through. That was just amazing to see. It's what I've dreamed of. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at the pictures. This is like amazing. I love my room. Everything was there for me. I had my camera where I could take pictures. I can record every memory and not forget it. Knowing that my dad liked scrapbooking and he loved sharing his memories and he loved his childhood, it reminded me a lot of my father. And I could not ask for anything more than that. Oh my, <laughs> oh my, <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful, <laughs> there's Mark even, <laughs> and, oh my gosh, how I miss these guys, <laughs> oh my god. When I walked into my room and I looked around and I saw those pictures of Tom and Mark, just to have that and to now know that I can go in there and see them and tell them how much I miss them and cry, it was, it was great. It's like, this is going to be the room that's going to change everything. It's going to make me be able to grow and that's what I need to do. Being a single parent isn't easy. And I know one of the things that is most important is, are you ever gonna be able to pay for your kid's college education? Are you ever gonna be able to send your kids to college? Well, here's the thing. Our friends at CVS Pharmacy have started an educational fund for all four of your oh kids. In the amount of $100,000. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. For CVS Pharmacy to give my children $100,000 for college is such a relief because now they can think of what they want to do in their future. It's like the world just got lifted off my shoulder and I didn't have to worry about it anymore because it was gonna get taken care of. <laughs> Come on outside, there's some folks I want you to meet. Come on out. <laughs> What you're looking at was basically built with the heart of this town. I know that, that Tom, he really loved this town, huh? He did. He loves this town a great deal. This is the kind of town that he wanted to have his kids grow up in. This was 
his town for his kids. This week means so much because knowing my dad's not here for us anymore and knowing my brother's not here anymore, it was hard and then we saw my dad's dreams for us just come to us in a week's time. He's not here yet. He is still fulfilling his dreams for us. And it was amazing. And he's doing it with all the people we know and love. Mark would say thank you for all that you are doing for us. Because you guys have been there every time something went wrong. So we want to thank you as a family from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. I just want to thank the entire town of Voluntown and all actually of Connecticut because there were a lot of people here helping us. And I want you to know that we could not be where we are right now without you. And we're going to make it. And it's all because of you. And I want to say thank you. And we love you all. Well, I guess there's just one thing left to say. Welcome home, Gerard family. Welcome, Welcome home. Welcome. You want to invite them in? Come on in, out of the rain. Come on in. To find out more about the products used on tonight's show, go to abc.com, keyword home makeover. Air transportation provided by Southwest Airlines. Michael, can you see me up here? I'm here. Oh, hey! You should come up, man. The view is unbelievable. It's beautiful. You see for miles. All the way up there. All the way, bruv. Come up and have a look. Oh, my God. I don't know if I can make it all the way up there. It's a long way, bruv. You should have come up. Just come up and have a look. It's great. Oh, you got a little right in there. Look. The lettuce from lunch. Yeah.